Well, push has come to shove with regard to the sun and me. Where is that sun? I don't know. And uh, I'm going to try to make that box covering for the, the head part of my bed so that I can drape the copper fabric over it and get a good night's sleep without having the copper too close to my, to my head. I'll show you. Okay, now here's a storage box that I bought at Home Depot. And my idea is that I'm going to cut holes in most of it. And then uh, the copper fabric will be laid over the top so that mostly the copper fabric will, will be all around me. And then this part here at the bottom where there's a hole, that will be where my body fits in. And over here will be where I lay the sheet and the towel so that I can sleep within the box somewhat. And here I have a notion this is trouble because I have to cut a hole in it so that the, um, the copper can be sensed by my mental field and yet it has to maintain structural stability so we'll see about that. And for the time being I've assembled these tools. Okay, I have a straight edge to outline the opening that I want on the, all of the faces of the box, except for one, the one that I lie on. Then I have, and so this is for the outline, then I have the cutting tool, and then I'll put the box together, and then after that I'll put the copper fabric on top. That's the idea. Okay, so we have here box laid out flat and then we have in one cut out here the place where the head and the neck roll will go or a pillow here the, another cut out here and another cut out here and there will be one more for this area up here after it's all folded together okay so here we have three window panes as it were cut out over which the copper fabric will be draped and there's one more to cut out. Here it is. The uh, scotch tape didn't work out so I moved to heavy duty duct tape here and that look seems to have su sustained the integrity of the thing well enough for it to support the, the copper fabric. I don't move around much when I sleep. I'm more like the Egyptians, you know, simply sleeping on my back and so I shouldn't have any trouble with wrecking this thing up as I fall asleep. Anyway, it's just for geostorms. So, there are the cutout windows. And this is the part where you place your head on a, on a pillow or however it is that you sleep. And the rest of it should give plenty of air space between you and the copper fabric. That's the idea. The raven was asking me earlier how it could get hold of copper fabric. I don't think that's in the card for the raven. Anyway, it's going to look like this. There they are. The ravens. Hey dudes. Good evening to you. Happy evening. Last night I tried the box with the copper fabric over it that I had concocted that afternoon and I have a few things to say about it. I was having like, it seemed like thought forms from other people were just attaching themselves to my head, mainly my head, and I could not get rid of them. Okay, I waited an hour. I was just trying to get asleep, and finally I put the box with the copper on it, and in about a minute, a minute and a half, all that mental energetic attachment from other people, what you might call entity attachments, went away. And um, then I left it there for a while, and the experience I had was that an uncomfortable amount of electrical energy accumulated around my head too much. I don't think it was good at all. So I took that all off and then I had a pleasant night's sleep. So I have this caveat regarding 
uh, regarding that contraption is just put it on for a minute or two until it does its job and then take it off. It's too powerful. The way that I draped the copper was uh, I left the back of it open, I draped it over the top and the rest of the copper sheet I draped forward over my body in a kind of a triangle. So I, not just as far as the bottom of my torso, not including my feet. So I think that that configuration of energy might relate to an image I saw in a museum of uh, a pharaoh, I think it was a pharaoh or close, um, who had was wearing a very odd loincloth that stuck out in the same way that that the uh, copper foil stuck down from the top of my head towards the bottom of my torso and I wonder if it might have uh, 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 some special heretofore unknown magical effect so I thought I would try the copper box in the opposite directions later on and I'll let you know what becomes of that. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days in love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I'm of the stars and so are you. And if you weren't a light worker before, likely you will be a light worker after this solar event, which is magnificent. Come and visit me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com.